Today, I'm going to talk about a topic that you might find interesting. I know a lot of the college students that I recently polled found interesting. And certainly, there's a clinical area for improving this aspect of life for some people. Today, I'm going to talk about how cannabis may affect your sex drive. Welcome back to the planet's premier medical cannabis education channel on a bashfully brought to you by the University of New Mexico Medical Cannabis Research Fund. Now, there's a lot of anecdotes out there on how cannabis may or may not affect our sex drive, right? So some people will swear that it'll increase their sex drive, while other people report uh, being more deterred from the whole prospect of sex after smoking cannabis. Now, unfortunately, this is just another example of the types of topics that our government has largely failed to provide research on. That is, in this case, the effects of cannabis on normative bodily functioning and functions. And certainly, sex drive can be important for some people, and in fact can play a major role in the significance of aspects of life like relationship cohesion, and quality, and significance, or other individual factors that pertain to the person's general well-being. But what we can do is look at the literature that does exist. And these past studies are largely divided into self-reported information and then more objective types of analyses that have to do with behaviors like the frequency in which individuals engage in sex. Now, it is important to know that self-reported information is oftentimes biased in favor of the topic that is being discussed with researchers. So you could just imagine a researcher calling you on the phone and asking about your sex life and whether or not you would choose to spend the time to do so. So these individuals that do choose to spend the time to do so um, don't mind talking about their sex life with a stranger. And um, I'm just saying that they probably don't represent you know, the majority of the population. So with that in mind, it is important to learn directly from people about their subjective experiences because this is the type of human intuition that we largely build scientific uh, contributions out of. But with that said, let's, uh, let's take a look at our first study. In the Journal of Sexual Medicine published in 2019, the researchers essentially measured the self-reported experiences of over 200 people and they found that about half of the people had actually consumed cannabis to alter their sexual experiences in some way. Now, among the users, about 40% of them reported an improved sexual experience after consuming cannabis, while only 16% of the participants reported a worsened sexual experience after consuming cannabis. Now, what I find interesting is that roughly half of the users reported both. They reported sometimes experiencing improved sexual experiences and sometimes experiencing worsened sexual experiences. So what we have here seems to essentially be a wash and would also suggest that there are other factors that play a role in how cannabis affects our sexual experiences. Other important findings from the study are roughly three quarters of the individuals who reported hypersensitivity to touch in a good way. And almost as many individuals attributed their improved sexual experience essentially on the cannabis's ability to enable or enact relaxation. So whether that's allowing the individuals to kind of relinquish or block out ex external stressors or anxiety, or perhaps allowing them to relax more in the context of a sexual experience, one fundamental mechanism by which cannabis appears to enhance sexual experiences in many people is through its ability to induce relaxation. Now, another way to measure sexual drive is through our absolute behaviors, and particularly through the frequency in which we engage in sex. Now, it's not a one-to-one. -one. Sometimes we could desire to have sex, but not have the opportunity to do so, or perhaps engage in sex, but not necessarily have the desire to do so. What I wanna highlight is another study that was published in the same journal, this time in 2017. And what the researchers did is they essentially measured the frequency of sexual experiences in over 50,000 people. And what they found 
is that weekly or daily cannabis users actually reported a higher frequency of having sex than non-cannabis users. Now, this effect appears to be particularly evident among males, but it was also observed in both sexes. What's interesting is that the type of sexual experiences in particular that cannabis users reported engaging in was essentially, how do I say this? Oral sex, okay? So, where does that leave us? <laughs> I don't know, and at this point I'm a little embarrassed, but it probably has something to do with relaxation. As always, please consider hitting the like and subscribe buttons. Consider becoming a patron for this channel and also a donor to the Medical Cannabis Research Fund, where we are fighting every single day to conduct the type of work that will allow you to obtain objective information that will better inform your health decisions and ultimately improve your well-being. We want to give you back control over your life. And by doing so, I do believe that we are changing the world.